So hey, and welcome to another episode of Beetle Dustino coming at you again today with another video. This one, a dedication video. This one is going out to my, my wonderful twin sisters, the best third birthday present a guy could ever get. <laughs> They'll know what I'm talking about. All right. Anyways, I'm going to talk about their favorite band and showing my little addition to my collection of a lot of their records. So stay tuned. <laughs> Yeah, today we're going to talk about Hanson. I have been talking about them, it seems like a lot in a lot of my recent videos. I think talking about them got me kind of thinking about it. I've always been, for years, have been meaning to start collecting a few of their records because when I hear their, their albums um, from my sisters, I do very much enjoy them. I always really have. I have owned a copy of Middle of Nowhere, their first one for forever, and their cop their Christmas album, Snowed In, forever, which I champion as one of my favorite Christmas albums, hands down. It's great. If you haven't checked it out, and don't get over the whole fact, the boy band, the girls chasing them, whatever. No, these guys are great. Even that early on album, that Snowed In album, is fantastic. It's really fun. If you like a good, fun Christmas album, this is it. So check it out. But anyways, I was thinking I should start collecting a few of their albums and just kind of start looking at what prices are going out there and that on them. I, I have had those three, but would like to add on a few additional ones to it. And I do got one of their newer, I don't know, my sister's call it an EP, but Wikipedia lists as one of their albums. But they've only got 10 studio albums with that one included. And two of those are Christmas albums, but hey. But yeah, I, I did want to start getting a few of their albums. and I looked and I thought, well, you know, I get a lot with the Beatles and that, a lot of these CDs, check on eBay, see if there's a good lot being sold and you can pick up some, and get some really good deals. A lot of my Paul McCartney singles, which eventually we'll see on the What's on the Rack, I think they're all about here. A lot of those I've got through lots and I got pretty good deals on them. So be on the lookout for those. And I got thinking I'll just pop in Hanson lot and see what happens in CDs. And I couldn't believe it. I went to eBay, typed that in. One came up with 10 of their albums on it, three of which I already had. But I got a little, you know, caveat here with that. I got 10 of their albums. Uh, one is a single. So I guess 10 CDs, one's a single. Three albums I already got, but kind of. It was 30 bucks. And it was a little bit more with shipping, but, you know, no whatever. And I thought, well, I'll just keep an eye on it. Now, you keep an eye on it. If you know eBay well, you know, sometimes sellers will offer you a little bit of a uh, an offer. Just kind of entice the you you not just watching it, but buying it. Not even a day went by, and all of a sudden I get an offer. And usually you get an offer, and it's like maybe 10% off or something. So 10% off, $30, eh, maybe $3 off. Still would be a pretty good deal for these 10 CDs. But I got an offer for $20. $20 for 10 of these CDs. <laughs> $2 a CD, even with the shipping added on there. Shipping was a little expensive, but still not terrible. It was under $30 with the shipping. Let's put it that way. I got 10 Hanson albums here. So of course, we'll show you what I got. I got Middle of Nowhere, their first album. Uh, this came out in what, 1997. And all these are in great shape. I couldn't believe how nice shape. All the, C the jewel cases are great. CDs all looked great. I checked them all out. So this one I've already got. I got a club edition of this. So I got a little different variation. This one I don't think is a club edition. And this one's the single. I kind of got everything in order here. This would have came out in 97 also. Nope, 98. Um, this is I Will Come to You. Several different versions of it on there, plus a, a different version of Oombop, an uh, acoustic live version of Oombop. So that's kind of cool. There's the disc. Nothing really, just it's a single, so not much there. Next one up is a live album. Also came out in 1998. They had a lot of stuff in 1998, but um, this is live from Albertine. Albertine, I better get that right because they're going to be watching it and they're going to be correcting me on everything. This one's a fun album. I always enjoyed listening to it. There is a little medley here with some of the songs from the Blues Brothers soundtrack. I've always enjoyed that. They're, they're big Blues Brothers fans and one of their albums coming up here, I feel was really inspired by that. I know the video of one of the songs from that album was totally inspired by it because it was a whole scene from the movie that they recreated. Now this one, as I was telling my one sister about this, she was shocked when I told her I got this all for less than 30 bucks with shipping and this album was in there. 
This was one of their compilation albums that came out early on, 1998, Three Car Garage. She said she knows a lot of people looking for this and not finding it. And it sounds like it's pretty expensive if they do find it from what she was telling me. This is basically a compilation of, I guess they had two demo albums uh, before they hit it big. It does say here 95 to 96. Um, so before their first album came out, kind of their de demo albums, they were probably selling at the shows before they hit it big. Um, and this kind of combines a couple of the songs on that. I, from what I understand, is mostly off of the Um Bop uh, demo, demo single. And there was another one, too, off the top of my head. I guess I can't remember it. My sisters will probably let me know. I'll put it up in the corner. How's that? <laughs> the, the, the Up in the corner is always the answer there. But yeah, there's Three Car Garage. So yeah, a little jealous. Some of you some fans out there, I got it now. <laughs> so of course, the next one, also 1998, is Snowed In. Now, I do remember talking to my, my other sister one day. I was shocked she wasn't playing in her car one day when we were riding around Christmas time. And I believe she told me her copy of it wore out. How she wore out a CD, I don't know. I guess maybe scratched up might be more the, the answer. So this might be becoming her, her copy, seeing as I've already got a copy. So this one will probably go to her. She told me the other day, though, that she just wasn't sure where it was at now. I don't know. So there was that one. Next up, we got This Time Around. Um, this is their 2000 album. And take a look at the back there. And open it up here. Take a look at the inside and the disc. I haven't heard much of that one. I know a song or two off of it, but I know as I get listening to these, I'm going to really get enjoying them. Next up, I have got Underneath. This one's called. Um, this one does come with a nice slip case. It's a little kind of gunk on the back there, but otherwise fairly nice condition here. So it does slip out. This is a 2004 release. Um, so there's that out of the slip case. A little bit different album artwork there with that. And we'll open it up. Next up is The Walk. I get that right? Yep, The Walk. Um, this is a 2007 release. This one, I don't know if I have heard too much off of this one. I'm sure I've heard it in concert, because I know I've seen them twice in concert since 2007, so I'm sure I've heard some off of this. And next one up, this one is a favorite of mine. I have not owned a physical copy of it. I think I, I ripped onto my iTunes a copy of my sister's, and I have loved this album ever since. And for some reason, this is the only one I have borrowed of hers to rip onto my iTunes, but this is Shout It Out. Um, this came out in 2010. This is the album I said, if you are a fan of the Blues Brothers soundtrack, you'll like this album. Um, they brought in the horns and stuff. Very much a sound like that from the Blues Brothers soundtrack, like the Blues Brothers band there. Very cool album. Some really, really good songs on here. One of my favorites of theirs. And then the next one in the list here, I think we skipped, I believe there's Anthem it's called, was in between these. There might have been another one too. But the next one is their other Christmas album, Finally It's Christmas. Um, not quite as good as Snowed In, but definitely good. Um, they do got, Beetle Dustino here always knows these things. Um, the second track on here, Wonderful Christmas Time, Paul McCartney. And a little cool thing, they kind of put their own spin on it. So... Wonderful Christmas time, come on, it's Christmas Melody, it's called. And it's really kind of cool what they've done playing off of Paul's thing and their thing on it. So, very cool version of Wonderful Christmas time, though. I've always really enjoyed it. I was really shocked when I first heard it, how cool that they made that song, which is already a song I think is a really cool song. So, are we done here yet? No, because, <laughs> thanks to my sister, too, <laughs> she had sent me a link the other day that this was available. And I got it, and I was thinking it was going to be after Christmas, and I almost got thinking I might have to time travel to open it. Well, it's going to be out here for you to see and not have to wait for next Christmas on a time traveling type episode <laughs> or whatever craziness happens next year when I'm tracking down Christmas vinyl. But they did reissue finally as Christmas this year on colored vinyl. Now, I don't know which colored vinyl I got. Um, she showed me one for a red colored vinyl. 
But when I went searching for it, I think from their site, you might have got the red one. From this one, I don't know, from other retailers, it might be green. So let's find out. Let's get this opened. And thank you to my sister for letting me know about this because I love colored Christmas vinyl. I think she knew that even before she saw my time traveling adventures. Which I did kind of talk about this album in. See how this looks. See if there's any goodies hiding. Doesn't look like it. Take a look at the inner sleeve here. And let's see. Yes, it is. And I was hoping it was this color because it seems like a lot of those for my time traveling Christmas vinyl adventure were red. So it's nice to have a green. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, I would have rather had the green anyway. So there we go. Looks very nice too. Very Christmassy green. And it doesn't look like somebody puked all over it. <laughs> all right. But anyways... And my one sister also, aside from not having snowed in, I don't know if she ever got an official copy of Finally It's Christmas. I think we uh, burned her a CD off of my other sister's CD or mine of it. Or I, maybe one of us did give her a copy. She said she didn't know on that either. She didn't know where it was at. So I'll forgive her. Poor single mom. Yeah, she's got a lot on her hand, let alone keeping track of a couple of CDs, even though it is her favorite band. But anyways, I do want to get wrapping this up. thought it would be fun just to kind of show another band there and boy i went from a handful of their albums to almost all their albums and just one false swoop there for less than 30 bucks too anyways i'm gonna get signing out i do want to thank all my subscribers hopefully my sisters are subscribed now too. <laughs> i think they have been but anyways thank all my subscribers thank anybody returning and if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you're a new subscriber especially thank you. I am trying to build this channel and please hit the notification bell too when you do subscribe so you know when I do got a new video coming out and give me a like if you did like this video and leave a comment. I also I love having a discussion with everybody so if I do get some new Hanson fans coming up from this too have a talk with me. I do like Hanson. I've been to a few of their shows. I've got quite a few of their albums now too but anyways I'm Beetle Dustino signing out.